Hi guys, it's Skinboo here, and today, what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a video about Bully 2, and more specifically, what I actually want to talk about to do with Bully 2 is how likely it is that Bully will be, um, Rockstar's next game or instead will actually be released at some point in the future So I guess this is kind of related to the video I did about GTA 6 uh, Speculation and how it is too early for it because I am kind of building on the rumors and the you know like questions that have been going around uh in the kind of community and hopefully just putting them to rest and by the end of it hopefully concluding to how likely or how low or high the probability of a sequel to Bully coming out is. So let me start off by saying that uh, the gameplay you are watching right now is recorded from the PC version of Bully Scholarship Edition. It was on sale probably about maybe like four or five days ago and it was about like 75% off. It was about like £1.50 or something. It was super cheap and uh, because I haven't played it since my 360 copy I just you know decided to pick it up so this is actually PC gameplay so before I actually start kind of delving into what I think on the situation let me actually give you some facts about the bad side of Bully so first of all Bully was released originally for the PS2 it was just simply called Bully and uh, a few years later they actually remastered the game as you will for Xbox 360 Wii and the PC now this kind of remaster included uh, better visuals I think it was like more classes more NPCs and stuff like that it was technically a better game and there was more stuff to do new missions and of course PS2 was you know a, a quite a limited console compared to sort of nowadays standards so they were kind of able to put in a lot more stuff which they probably weren't able to on the actual PS2 for the front of it instead of calling it like I don't know bully remastered edition or something they just called it scholarship edition now I think the reason why they put, actually put like scholarship edition on the front of it is because they were actually trying to imply that there was some kind of element of um, education. This is because when Bully came out on the PS2, there was quite a lot of, you know, uh, controversy around the game because of its obvious purpose to Bully and cause kind of pain onto others, I guess you could say so. Um, by Rockstar putting Scholarship Edition on the front of it, I think it did kind of encourage parents to allow their kids to buy the game because they're like, oh, okay, you're going to get a scholarship or something. Like, yeah, you can buy it. Go ahead. It sounds like you're having a great time uh, in that game. But the controversy for Bully actually got so bad that in Brazil, the game was actually banned. And if anyone was found to have a copy of the game, they would actually be fined quite a lot of money indeed. Of course, there were pirated copies going around, but it was generally you know like quite bad like heavily banned not like you can't buy it but if you have it then like that's fair enough i'm talking like if you had it you would have some like fat fine given to you which is pretty damn beefy so obviously to people who've never played bully before just you know like purely looking at the title they can obviously gather the fact that it does have something to do with bullying even though by the end of the game you know you can kind of choose who you want to go with you can bully the bullies or you can bully the nerds so it's kind of up to you i don't really know because of this parents actually believe that the game was you know harmful to their kids or it encouraged bullying or it affected them in some kind of mental way that basically made them a horrible person now i suppose if you had absolutely no clue about what the game was and you didn't know the fact that you could choose to be a bully or to be a nice guy as you will then yeah i can imagine that would be kind of acceptable it's sort of like you know gta and how it gives off those kind of bad vibes i completely understand that you know there were loads of beliefs going around that if you know like young people played the game then it would affect them in some kind of way and turn them into a, a psychopath and they go shoot up a school or something okay that's a bit deep i'm sorry about that but yeah it did actually receive quite a lot of controversy and uh was probably one of the most i would like to say one of the most controversial rockstar games uh aside from of course gta which we all know is very controversial but they took a different take on it from kind of school perspective perspective which is a bit of a different take on it so flipping over to the actual positive side of bully bully was a game that was loved by the masses you know myself included i absolutely loved the game of course it made a nice difference from all of the games that were being produced by rockstar you know like gta for example it was like gta but in a school you know it was very very different it had a lot of you know content it had the mini games and it had like cool interactions and fighting and it kind of introduced all of the factions almost to future Rockstar games that would come out. So it was 
definitely a game that was loved. It was by no means a game that people hated, you know. I think it's kind of a game that people forget about because of, you know, GTA and how, like, big it is. But people definitely did like the game. It did actually offer something different as well, as I said, because it's set in a completely new environment. Instead of fighting police, you're fighting prefects. Instead of, you know, like, beefing up gangs, you're beefing up bullies. You know, it was just kind of the game that we loved, but in a completely different way. And I think that was actually something really good. So, to conclude, Bully was actually my favourite Rockstar game, I would say. I probably prefer it to any other game I've played by Rockstar. Perhaps kind of um, meeting Red Dead Redemption because they're both amazing games. But I personally really, really like the game. As for whether I think it's going to come out, whether it be the next game or ever, personally, I don't think it's that likely, mainly just because of the controversy that surrounded the game and a lot of the bad publicity. So of course you could just argue that GTA gets bad publicity pretty much every time it comes out, yet they continue to do it, but it seems like with all of the sensitive issues at this point in time to do with schools and school shootings, I just think it would be a little bit of kind of, um, I don't know, like shallow ground to tread, and I think it could possibly get a tad deep and probably get a bit overboard in terms of offensive kind of jokes and, and stuff like that because after all it is you know rockstar but that's not to say i wouldn't love to see a new bully i would absolutely adore to see a sequel to bully i would definitely pre-order it and i would just love to see what they could do with today's technology with a massive school a massive town and massive surrounding areas with different characters and all these expensively you know in-depth ai systems and all that i just would love to see it but if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I don't think it's too likely. I'd think they'd rather do a Red Dead Redemption 2 or Max Payne 4, uh, but that's not to say it won't come out. I think it perhaps might come out. It's definitely a game that people want, but I just think it's got so many problems with it, with today's kind of issues. I just don't personally think it's that likely. So that is the end of the video guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, and that like button below, also guys, if you could drop a comment about how likely you think it is that Bully will get a sequel, then that would be absolutely fantastic, and I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimboot, signing out.